This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. Not on Dueling Book this time, because Dueling Book does not have the Magic Bullet cards on it, because the Magic Bullet cards are not out in the OCG yet. So... There are some things that we have to consider there. This actually, this opening hand's actually pretty fucking good. Is my auto card placing off? It is. Good. I've been dicked over by that one too many times. I'll have you know. Uh, but then this effect can happen. I can summon Casper from my deck. And I've got Ties of the Brethren too. Like, whoa. Um, like, whoa. Like, whoa. Like, whoa. Uh, so I don't even have to... I don't even have to do anything else other than just summon these. Which one? this this thing has bigger attack, right? And then Doctor has bigger defense. No, bigger attack still. Uh, but so this gets to use its effect, which I can then use for uh, Devil Deal. That way, I just don't auto lose to a board wipe. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, and now I've got so many <laughs> so many things. I don't really like Magic Bullets in terms of a, like the playability of the deck because it seems really linear and very normal summon heavy. It's just uh, it's not the kind of deck that uh, that I'm uh, a fan of, per se. But it's pretty. Whoa! Double Wisdom Eye. All right. Uh, cool, cool man, cool my dude. So he's activating one. And what are we getting out of that? I don't think I stopped these Wisdom Eyes at all. Ah, oh, it's a double Iris. Hmm. Hmm. The plot thickens. Uh, but so he's got this. I think I just wait for his boss monsters, right? He's got a purple poison. He's got this. The thing is, I'm really unhappy with Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and Dev Pro. They had six months to prepare for the release of Link Summons, essentially. We got the news of that in February. <laughs> Like, oh, come on. We had so much time. Uh, what does this thing do? Uh, it's turned to your hand. Uh, that's a harmonize. That's a. That's a harmonizing. He summoned everything from hand. Whoa. This man is a fucking legend. Uh, alright. So, what I get to do is I get to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait. I'm literally not gonna do anything. Because if he makes something like Cypher and Lord Omega, every single card in my hand is chainable. So, I don't care. Also, um, things can happen in their own individual ways. I'm gonna start holding down A though. What is this? Uh, you destroy all face of monsters your opponent controls? Oh! Thank God I searched the, uh, the Devil's Deal. Um, but let's see. If this card battles an opponent's monster, you control a monster if you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, this thing triggers, right? Whoa. <laughs> you best believe we are summoning this card, or activating this card. Um, boink! We go boink, and that doesn't die, and then this happens, which allows me to summon... I'll summon a, a thick-ass Calamity from my deck, just in case one of these does die, because that's kind of inevitable. Because he's got four monsters, I can only block two. Um, uh, ooh, he's doing that. Uh, this allows it to do double damage, right? Um, sure. Sure thing, buckaroo. Allows it to do double damage, but then when he enters battle phase, all I have to do is use Death Parado on this and it's attack and defense will become or it'll, it'll leave the field oh shit I need to do this now before this resolves uh, this is the thing that needs to happen so I'll do this under Caspar and destroy this so the magician leaves the field before this resolves and then Caspar's effect will trigger uh, and I'll get the cross dominator that way I can deal with the big beefy clear wing and then none of these other cards should matter he's attacking the star which I am um, am I okay with this I could activate this on doctor yeah we'll do this uh, we'll activate this well, let's see it's 
Leaves the monsters under Pendulum Zone. Um, no. I'll let this die. It's used its effect. <laughs> it's used its effect, and that means I can use Calamity for value. So, uh, we'll, we'll mess with this the way that it needs to happen. Mmm, this one's going places, isn't it? He's the worst they can do is add wisdom eye. You know what? Yeah, we're we're just gonna we're gonna mess with this. Uh, we're gonna mess with this in the the ways that we think. Doctor has not activated its effect yet, so we will put it under Doctor. Select this, and so then we'll use Doctor's effect to get back the Death Parado. Yeah. Okay. This this seems fine. The worst that he does is gets Wisdom Eye, right? That's the worst that happens. Uh, this triggers, he gets a Wisdom Eye, but he's already Pendulum Summoned, and he didn't Pendulum Summon Wisdom Eyes, he Pendulumed Oaf Dragons from his hand, which either he's trying to play as if it's Link format, or he's being a cheeky bitch. Uh, <laughs> like, there's only a couple of things that could uh, could happen here. Is it, did this card come out in Code of the Duelist? I feel like it did, but also, not sure. But so, this card doesn't really do anything by itself in the hand, he could put it in his scale, and things could happen there. Um, he's doing this uh, on Doctor, and I can go ahead and activate this under... I've already used everyone's effect. Um, I can activate this here to make this zero, just to make him take more damage. This comes... But do you still take the damage? Uh, this brings back my star. And now I've got Death Parado, which I can then use to deal with his Clear Wing next turn. Or I could just pop a card like his uh, Pendulum Graph. And uh, then I... Yeah, it's probably the better play, actually. Pop Pendulum Graph. Uh, and then uh, play this under Casper. Search uh, search for Never Endorphin. Play Never Endorphin under Doctor. Uh, make one of my monsters able to attack over the Clear Wing. This seems easy. I think, we, I think we've gotten to the easy point. Uh, gain 100 attack and defense for every magician. Good thing that still don't matter because it's still too small. Uh, still too small is the variety flavor of the hour. Actually, uh, well, I can get Never Endorphin out of the deck. It doesn't matter what order I put him in, actually. Uh, but so I will pop this, and then this effect will trigger. And I will get. Do I want to get Never Endorphin? Um, that's the question. What does this card do? You can destroy that monster and flick damage. Ha ha! He almost got my ass. All right, so we're gonna add Cross Dominator here, uh, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna overlay these into. Hmm, I can make a Utopia, Utopia the Lightning, because then, uh, then that deals with this completely. It, 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 it doesn't make anything else happen. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So we'll make Utopia the Lightning. That seems like a strong play. We'll we'll make Utopia uh, because this this is available to us as an option. So we might as well make it. You know, I I keep forgetting that I have auto card placing on, so like I, I get kind of tripped out, and I'm like, what does it want me to do? I selected my overlay materials. <laughs> um. But so, okay, I'll put these to attack mode, put this to attack mode. Well, actually, I had the Devil's Deal anyway, so I could have attacked this with Never Endorphin, because it can't it can't kill them. Um, so I think I'm just being a buster for the sake of being a buster. So we'll attack this, and then uh, we'll go into damage calculation, and I will make this a 5k beater. Uh, put these in the grave, because they're the most important cards. So that dies... And now I get to, I can activate this under the doctor, making this zero, 0 and then this thing will trigger, adding back my Never Endorphin, which I can then use uh, under Kid. I'm just trying to flex. Uh, I want to draw cards, mate. Oh, that was great! Oh my god! Uh, but this can't attack directly, so we're going to attack over the Oath Dragon. Synergy. Nice. Nice, nice. And that actually turns this into a game shot. So, <laughs> there's that to consider as well. But, alright. Well. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> I 
that was very clear cut. Uh, but yeah, I'm not happy with Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and Death Pro because they haven't updated for Link Era. I'm literally playing a game that doesn't exist right now. Like, this this format of the game literally does not exist. So once Magic Bullets go on to uh, Dueling Book, then I'm more than likely going to just hop on over there and do those there. But, anyway... As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, and Patreon is the best way to do so. It helps me be able to make more content on a more regular basis. It helps me improve equipment and all that sort of nonsense. And also, if you want to enter a monthly raffle giveaway for 10 packs at the end of each month, then definitely go check that out. The 10 packs would be the most recent set. So if you're interested, go check out the reward tiers. Also, the $2 reward tier opens up the Discord server to you for chatting with me and a bunch of other people on a daily basis, if that's something you're interested in. The only reason there's strings attached to that is to help out the channel, one, for equipment-wise, and two, to keep people out that just don't want to contribute and don't want to, uh, and don't want to, uh, like, do anything but troll or do things like that. It makes the people that are there the people that want to be there. But anyway, special thank yous to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, and Yuki Phoenix for the support they have given me, the outstanding support they've given me on Patreon over the past month, and... I mean, it helps out a ton, and you have so much of my gratitude, you guys don't understand. But you knew that already, because we talk on a daily basis in the Discord. Well, other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video.